on price picks before i get started though there is a link in the description below to sign up for price picks price picks will match 100 percent of your first deposit also there is a discord link in the description of this video and a patreon link as well where i give bonus plays every single day but go check those out let's not waste any time though let's get into it WNBA player props we did yesterday we went two for three we hit on kalia copper over 0.5 blocks and steals this actually got removed from the board so at that time it was some great value natasha howard had no free throw attempts at all so she missed on this one and then we hit over on ali quigley one and a half three pointers made she had four so good night two of three definitely looking to do a little bit better tonight i'd say um again we only have one game on the WNBA slate tonight, and it is the uh, Dallas Wings versus the Connecticut Sun. I believe you can see here this game is on this, but this game, the series is over. Connecticut versus Dallas, and Enrique Ogunwale is expected to play. She's probable for this game, so it's going to have an impact on a few players on the Dallas Wings side of things. Um, I think you know business as usual for the Connecticut Sun, and this does have some blowout potential. Um, not necessarily, but I mean, the series is tied 1-1. This is an elimination game for both teams. So definitely going to be interesting to see what happens here in this game. Um, but yeah, let's not waste any time, though. Let's just get right into it. So the first play I like is going to be a fantasy score. It's going to be John Quell Jones over 31 and a half. Now, if you take a look at her last five games, she's the over on this uh, four of her last five. And more specifically, in these first two games against Dallas in this series, she's hit the over 35.1 and 36.8 fantasy points. This being an elimination game on the road, this game is in Dallas. Um, I expect it to be, you know, hopefully a competitive game. And if John Cole Jones plays anywhere near her normal um, bevy of minutes, I expect this to be a clear over for her. She only played 25 and 22 minutes and has a 29, 19, and 8, and 3. Two blocks, one block here. Um, if she can get any of those stocks, you know, one block or two blocks, I think it'll really help her fantasy score. But 31 and a half for her, like I said, has hit the over in both games in this series. I'm taking the over on this one in an elimination game. The best player on the court here is John Cole Jones, in my opinion. So I expect her to be aggressive offensively and defensively. Um, I expect her to play well, 31 and a half. I'm taking the over on that one. Uh, the next one is going to be a rebounding prop, and it's going to be uh, Tiara, Tiara Tiaria, uh, McCowan. I'm taking the over on this one, eight rebounds. She has hit this, more specifically, a pusher better for her last five, coming off a game where she had 11 rebounds against Connecticut. Um, in that game one against Connecticut, she only had five rebounds. But she is a rebounder. I would say she's one of the better rebounders in the WNBA. Seven rebounds on the season. 11-7. and seven. And overall, I mean, towards the end of the season, you can see was playing some of the best basketball of her career. Um, these rebounding games of 11, 14, 12, 16, 14, 13, 9, 9, 8, and 11, you know, over her last, like, 12 games or so. So, obviously, has the potential to get a lot of rebounds. If she plays anywhere near 25-plus minutes, I expect her to get close to 8. Um, but I'm taking over eight rebounds here again in an elimination game. Really, that main front court presence for Dallas. She's going to be very much needed tonight. I'm taking the over on this one to match up. She's going to be matched up with John Cole Jones a lot, I think. So I'm taking the over on this one. Um, and then the last play is going to be a PRA prop. And this is an interesting one, but I'm going to take under Satu Sabali. Now, Arike Ogunwale being back in this game is going to affect her minutes the most, I believe. Um, she plays forward, but I mean, just that she was starting for Arike now you can see here not in that starting lineup they have a you know pretty good team um she will come off the bench she will get some minutes but 13 and a half pra these are two games here that she hit the over uh three games actually without Arike and then two games here with 10. I could also go with um fantasy score but I just think she has the potential to get some blocks and steals so I'm going to take under 13 and a half pra for her here um Satu Sabali against Dallas or against Connecticut here tonight under 13 and a half pra for her so these are the three total player props. I got John Cole Jones over 31 and a half fantasy score. Uh, Tiaria McCowan over eight rebounds. And then Satu Sabali under 13 and a half PRA. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these props. Please drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day.